Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to Communications. I first want to say I apologize for the confusion. Apparently I had updated the wrong course, and since we have this course multiple times you know, in a given year, I was working off the wrong one. So my apologies. I, I did a quick update of the course schedule, which you'll find, of course, in the course syllabus section, and that should be fixed. The syllabus, of course, is standard, so that's updated as well. Don't feel like there's any issues there. You might find that I update the course schedule throughout the semester, which is totally, you know, fine. I'll give you plenty of head, uh, heads up, plenty of notice if there's any changes there, but uh, be sure to take a look at that. But just for this week, um, we're going to go through course content section number one. And as you probably are already aware, this is a fully online course. So your lectures will be posted each month. Uh, I'm sorry, each week, and you'll be able to see those in their entirety. Also, to help you along the way, I post check-in videos on a weekly basis, just like this one, where I go over the details of where to find things and how to access material. So if you go to the course content section, you'll see a couple of different things. First being a community forum. A community forum is just an open forum com concept where you go in, and if you have questions regarding the course, you can put them in there. Uh, and the good thing about this, if fellow students see this question, they can reply to it, and I often look in there and reply to questions as well. Um, that does not take the place, of course, of your ability to email me at any time, so I can answer questions that way. So, uh, of course, we have rubrics that are listed here for our discussion. We also have your research paper and video guidelines, which are going to be due later in the semester, but I always like to give people the opportunity to get, get going on that and get started early doing your research. So when you look at week one, you're going to have a lot of different information in there. Of course, your first lecture, which is great, it's 15 minutes long, and I try to keep lectures 15 minutes or less, so you can take a look at that. Uh, you do have your week one presentation, which has some information about uh, your time in the workplace. You have to follow along with your book, of course. And then your week one review is the only thing that you have due this week. So week one review is just... Uh, posting so you're, it's like a discussion board you log in and post so um, when you look at the lecture I want you to uh, think about this so you're going to write at least 200 words uh, by Thursday um, in the day which will encompass like so your review of the chapter so you're going to post your review of the chapter there like that just for this week the week one review you're only going to have one posting that's due plus so we, we started the semester on a, a Thursday so uh, for this course. So just log in uh, once you review the material and post information about what you thought about it. So any comments that you have, like this might be more difficult for you, or this was easy, or you're looking forward to this, or anything in relation to uh, did you review the material and your thoughts about it. So just 200 words, that's due Sunday by end of day, and that's the only thing we have due this week's, week. So it's our discussion forum. It's how we communicate with each other, and I will reply to each one of your posts. So lecture one, that's due this week. It's due by Sunday end of day. Um, of course, make sure you look at it by then because I'm going to open lecture two, week two, um, later in the weekend so you can get started on that as well. So that's a little bit about the course. If you're looking for information about me, you can click the instructor portal, and you'll see, of course, a picture, which is a little older but that's okay, and um, you have my email and cell information there. Some of you already used it to contact me about the questions related to the um, misinterpretation and me posting information to the wrong uh, course. So hopefully this clears up some things. It's a fully online course. There's no live lectures. However, I'm more than happy to communicate with you uh, via Zoom if you have questions and work with you on a live basis. So uh, this course should be easy. It's not supposed to be overly complicated, so I think you're going to get a lot out of it. You're going to learn how to write better, learn how to communicate better, and at the same time, I don't think you're going to go through this course and be super worried about it because if you put forth effort, I think you're going to do a really good job. Reach out if you have any questions. Thanks so much for working with me. I look forward to, to working with all of you through the end of the semester, which ends in January. Thanks so much.